Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I had to redo this video. And thankfully, somebody told me, I don't ever watch my videos, and somebody thankfully told me that uh, the video capture software evidently messed up. So, I'm going to delete that video and do another one. So, somebody asked me via email, in some of the videos I use Control D, and some of them I use the plus key. If I hit the plus key right now, it makes a copy on top of itself, and I can move it over. If I hit the plus key again, I have to move it over again. That's the nice thing about the plus key. The nice thing about Control D, if I hit Control D and move it over a particular amount, and then every time I hit Control D, it moves it that particular amount, that equal amount. Also, just... Well, I shouldn't have done that. Also on the control D, if you make a duplicate of it, move it over and expand it out a little bit. And then the next one, it actually makes bigger and bigger by that same degree of uh, movement. So that's control D and control. And that's only if you have your duplicate distance set on zero, zero. If you have it set, and I don't know, you know, when nothing selected, uh, Factory default is 0.25 by 0.25. So if I control D, it makes a duplicate a quarter of an inch over and a quarter of an inch up. I have yet to figure out why you would want that. But that's Corel, and uh, I always set mine to zero, zero, and leave it like that. So we've already done control D space bar. And I thought I'd just add these. When you move an object and then hit the space bar, tap the space bar, you get a copy where you touch the space bar. That's pretty cool. Also, with that same thing with the space bar, you can see I have the pick tool right now. Let's get the ellipse tool. But now I'm going to hit the space bar, and I get the pick tool back. Hit the space bar, I get the ellipse tool back. Hit the space bar, I get the pick tool back. So it alternates between the last two tools you used. Then there's control R, which is basically the same thing. If I move this object to here and then hit control R, it's going to move it again equally to that amount. And it doesn't matter what I do. If I make it bigger, control R is going to make it bigger again and bigger again. It's just the, the last movement you made is uh, it's going to copy that movement. Now let's talk a little bit about copy and paste. You can control C and make a copy, and you have two copies, but you, you don't until you control V, which is paste it. So I'm going to control V and paste it. It pasted it back where it was originally when I copied it. So let's do this again. Control C to copy it. Control-V to paste it, and it pasted it back. The only reason I can really see you using control, copy, and paste, if I want to control-C and copy it, I can open a second page and control-V and paste it. Now, what is kind of cool about this, if I have a cop, if I have an object up in this right-hand corner, I control-C, go to page two, and control-V or paste, It'll paste it in the page where the first page is, where it was on the first page. So control C is copy, control V is paste, control D is duplicate, plus key on your keyboard is duplicate, space bar can duplicate, and control R will basically your last, whatever you did last, it'll do it. Like if we draw a rectangle, and we move it over here. Well, let's draw a rectangle and then move it over here. Control R will move it that distance again. Anyway, I hope this video worked better than the last one, and thank you for watching.